I've been involved in, in the women's movement for uh, maybe 13, 15 years, I'm not really sure. Uh, I began uh, reluctantly. I wasn't uh, really sure I wanted to be a feminist. I'm not sure about that today, too, because we get a bad rap, don't we? I'm a feminist. You know, they, they look at you differently, they treat you differently. But nevertheless, I, high, I hold feminists in very high regard. I, um, I want to reflect upon some of the things that about our traditional ways, and, and that is very much about who I am. And I, I introduce my children first because um, in our way, our children are uh, pretty much everything to us. Um, we, we really honor them and actually we adore them far too much. Sometimes we spoil them. And um, I introduce them first because in our culture they say you're, you're not anybody until your kids become somebody. And I, I'm waiting for that day. I really think for somebody already, but you know, uh, a lot of times I'm known by, by my children already. In Ottawa, I got known by my youngest, you know, I was just Harry's mom. And that, that was fine with me because he was very well known in a good way. And um, my history comes from, uh, you let me know. <laughs> uh, my history is very much the history of, of any Aboriginal woman in Canada on Turtle Island for that matter, very much the same. And very few of us ever escape violence. Very few of us ever uh, are foreign to racism. Very few of us are, are foreign to oppression and patriarchy. It, in fact, can impact on our lives in the earliest, earliest memory. And, um, and that is why I'm in the movement today. That is why uh, I've dedicated my life to, to making a difference for women. Because women in the past in our nations were very central to our cultures. We have, were held in high regard, we had respect. And as the man explained, um, everything was dependent on the woman. You, you couldn't inherit anything if uh, you didn't get it through your mother. Traditionally, that was our matrilineal culture. 